everybody, um, I am done with my finals, finally, so I am back with the next episode of Demon Slayer, of, of the, what's it called? Oh god, I forgot. Uh, yeah, the Entertainment District arc, man, I apologize. Well, I mean, my schedule is completely effed up, um, so yeah, uh, episode 10, yeah. Let's jump into it. This is the scene where everybody gets destroyed. This happened because I wasn't paying attention. I'm sorry, Inosuke. If only I'd noticed him sooner, then maybe... No. If I hadn't left Miss Rosalie's side in the first place, this never would have happened. It's my fault. You lost a fucking hand. Ah. Please forgive me. Nah, nah, fam. Oh, I hate this. Alright, never give up. Episode 10, let's go. Just so you guys know, I just woke up. Right now it is like 10 o'clock. No, not 10 o'clock, it's like 1 o'clock in the afternoon. I'm sorry, everyone. So... I'm sorry, Nezuko. It's another family flashback, I knew There's it. There's nothing for you to be sorry for. Hey, brother, why do you always apologize? If we're poor and we can't afford to wear nice kimonos, is that something you have to be sorry for? Don't blame yourself for something like that. It would be like blaming father for succumbing to his illness. He tried as hard as he could, but it wasn't enough. We have to accept that. We're human after all. And part of that means there are things that are outside of our control. Whether I'm happy or not is up to me. Even if it feels like the world is against me. What's most important is that we keep moving forward together. And fight if we must. So stop apologizing. You of all people should understand. I want you to understand how I feel. I wonder how long it's been. Was that a dream about the past? Hold on. Where am I? I'm surprised they didn't kill him off. It would have been a great time to kill them off. Well, I mean, the town is destroyed, that's for sure. God damn. This is awful. How did it come to this? I just hope the people who lived here were able to escape. Nah, man. That's, that's not gonna happen. Nezuko. Thank you, Nezuko. My fault or not, I've got to do what I can do. Well, I'm impressed. I'm shocked you're still alive after that. Oh. <laughs> Shit. You're one lucky guy, aren't you? Well, not that you have anything going for you, except being lucky, that is. It really is a shame, you know. Every one of your friends is dead or burning under the rubble right now. It only took a single thrust to that boar's heart. Meanwhile, that yellow-haired boy is trapped under the rubble. So I think I'll leave him there till he dies, squirming around like an insect. How disgraceful is that? And that Hashira, he really was all bark and no bite. It seems the poison got to him after all. Damn. Now he's dead His like the fucking others. arm. You're all disgraceful. Utterly disgraceful. You all might be pathetic and shameless in your own ways, but you're by far the worst! The one sticking out of that box. That's a relative of yours, isn't it? I can tell she's related to you, you know, even if she is a demon. Tell me, who is she? Your younger sister? 
Come on. What are you gonna do, man? This is 1v2 now, and he's weak. I couldn't lift my sword if I wanted to. So if I went for his head now, I couldn't slash it. That girl in the box is my younger sister. <laughs> Disgrace, huh? Imagine being so useless you can't protect your own sister. <laughs> well, I guess it can't be helped. After all, you're just human. It makes sense you're weaker than your sister. Considering she's a demon, it only makes sense she's stronger than you. Even so, I just can't help but see you as a disgrace. If you're really her big brother, then you should be protecting her instead of leaving her to fight all of your battles for you, you coward. Devotedly. With this hand, you see? <laughs> I'm just gonna break it. Oh! Ah, shit! But I've got to know, how do you feel after all this? Being the only one to survive so disgraceful. Damn, that is some humiliation. Oh my god. Strength protecting a disgrace like you. Hey, answer me, worm. You imbecile. Sad sack, coward, good for nothing. Why was trash like you even born to begin with? What are you gonna do? I don't know about you, but I'd love to see you try and cut off my head with that useless, battered, disgraceful human body of yours. Come on, come on, come on! Tanja is running. <laughs> oh, I see. Your poor little soul got crushed at the last second, huh? How disgraceful are you? I didn't think you could get more pathetic. <laughs> oh, damn, run the fire. Imagine he just casually throws a bomb. Oh, that's not good. Oddly enough, as disgraceful as you are, I don't dislike you. Because I can't help but like anything that's pathetic, disgraceful, and filthy, you understand? What is it about you? Maybe it's this filthy scar on your forehead I'm getting attached to. I have an idea! How about you just become a demon too? Why not do it for your little sister's sake? Why couldn't I have thought of that sooner? If you become a demon, I'll spare your life! Since you and I will be comrades then. Otherwise, I'll slaughter you and your pathetic sister. Since I don't give a crap about other people's little sisters, to be honest. No way! Absolutely not, brother! If you become a demon, you can instantly become stronger. You can kiss that defective body of yours goodbye. So what do you say? What's it gonna be? You gonna headbutt him? It makes you better, huh? Realizing how weak you are. Humans are so cute. Look into the sky when you grieve. Also, you don't let your tears fall down your face. This whole time. This whole time, I've been waiting for this. Damn, Tanjiro's headbutt. You've been waiting for a pathetic last-ditch headbutt. My body won't. What are you doing? Damn, me? that's what one powerful happened? headbutt. Something's wrong. What's going on? Something's wrong. All he did was use a lame headbutt. <laughs> Oh no, he got stabbed. When? I, I got stabbed when he headbutted me. 
He was pretending to retreat, but he was really going for this kunai. All the while scattering the courtesan sachets to cover up the scent of the kunai's poison. Damn you. Damn you. You're still a rotten weakling of a human. Look how bruised and battered you are even after taking me on with three others helping you. But now you're alone, so why? Why won't you give up? Why is it you're so damn determined? Fucking end him. To decapitate me! Oh no, he has to decapitate both. Shit. It's not gonna work. He needs to kill both at the same time. It's impossible. Shit, who's gonna take care of the other one? Big brother. Big brother. Brother. Oh shit. Seeing himself. One false step and I could have found myself in the very same situation he's in right now. I was lucky enough to remain a human. But there could have been a future in which we were both demons. If I do end up turning into a demon, I know I can rely on one thing. That someone in the Demon Slayer Corps will behead me for the greater good. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Cut through! Cut through! Win! Win! No matter what! We're going to win! Damn. Hey! What the hell are you doing? Don't get me hit by someone like that! Zenitsu, come on! <laughs> there we go. You can always run on Zenitsu. He pulled himself out of the rubble. Oh, that's not gonna work. As soon as it's too powerful for you. Thunder breathing. First four. Luckily, I know exactly how fast your move is because I've seen it so many times now. Thunder clap and flash. God like speed. Damn. Oh shit. I'm shaking. Like speed twice, and I've already used it once to escape the rubble. I won't get another chance to go for her neck if I don't. Damn his legs! Told you I created this one in a million chance. I'm going to slash her for sure, no matter what. Damn it! It's no use. I can't cut through. Come on. The poison should have weakened him. Am I still not strong enough? A little bit more. He's recovered from the poison. His blades are engulfing me. And my sword oh, shit. is being repelled. Oh, come on. Oh. Come on, so close. Don't give up. Don't give up, Tanjiro. Hang on until the very end. Die, you little punch. His attack speed is increasing. He's broken down the poison and fully recovered. But don't give up. Don't give up. Damn. Don't give up. Oh, fuck. Not as us. Oh, take his back. Let's go. Oh, how's he come fight with that other arm? Dead. But how is that possible? Wait, his heart. I get it. He used his muscles to stop his heart, which stopped the poison from circulating. How the fuck is that even possible? Score technique will take us to victory. Don't make me laugh. What is this? What kind of wild crap is this? Oh my god. Oh, you're using us a nunchuck. deflected my rotating circular flashes. Amazing. Bro. 
Oh, what is happening? Did he say score? He turned my blood demon art into a song and deflected it. And he did it all using only one arm. There's no way that's possible. I've yeah, you say that. <laughs> God damn, what's kind of happening? Let's go. Why is a one-handed fight more crazier than usual? Oh my god. What the hell? Bruh, this is not humanely possible. What is happening? Jesus Christ. What is this anime? This animation off the ch- Oh my god. Oh my god, why is it still screaming? Oh my fucking hell! The fight is scarier than a fucking missile! Come on, Hunter, I gotta keep up. Ah, fuck! What was that, his ear? Was that his ear? Oh my god! No way, that, that was his ear! And his fucking mouth! Oh! Oh! What is this? Oh! That's so painful! What the fuck? Next scene, please! Uh, uh, it is so nasty! Hey yo, hey yo, what is this? Hey yo, transformation? Yo, someone explain to me what the what the scar was. What the fuck? That is not child play. <laughs> Yo. Yo. Shit. Oh my god. That is scary, what the hell? Oh, finally! Oh my god! Dude, not gonna lie, Tengen might actually die. Did Tengen's ear also get sliced off? Cause, I don't know. I, I, think, I think his ears also sliced off. Oh fuck. Nah, not another sad backstory. Bruh. They're gonna they're gonna drop another back backstory for sure. They really did it! They did it! They did it! <laughs> they did it! Hear that, you know too? Just take a look for me on the grave! What the do you even know what you're saying to her? What? Dummy! Hold on a second. Something's not right here. Do you tank in? <laughs> Shit. The, the poison. Use your breathing to combat it. Oh shit, he's poisoned so hard. He can't really breathe right can. now. His mouth is completely pierced. What? 
it mean? I didn't cut off his head. Mr. Uzui is saying something. No. No. Oh, no, 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 no. I think my actually survived. I mean, he died. He died. Oh, fuck. Bro, he self destructed, but he was already dead. Nah, you can't end it like this. What the fuck? Yo, well, nah, uh-uh. Come on, another Hashira dies? Bruh, what the fuck? What is this? Yo, where's the normal ending? Nah, Mr. fuck you, man. I'm going to the next episode. Okay, you know what? I don't appreciate the fact that they left it off at a part where um, Tengen gets exploded and um, Tan Tanjiro is going crazy. Um, I wouldn't say going crazy. He is going... Um, he is dying. Like, like usual, you know, Tanjiro style. I'll always die on this. Um, yeah, so yeah, I am gonna do a double episode again. This is also the last episode for this season, and I heard the um, the trailer for the next season is coming out already, so I'm gonna watch that after this. So yeah, let's jump into it. Yeah, I don't understand why. I don't understand why he wasn't dead already. How could he possibly self-explode? Like, that's just not possible. Oh, he got his eyes slashed out. That night is here. What? What is he saying? Oh, fuck. What does it mean? I didn't cut off his head. Mr. Uzui is... saying something. You gotta run! Damn. Damn. What the hell? That's right, that's my girl. Saving the day. Oh, they said the title, they said the title. Oh, there's no intro? Interesting. No intro. I mean, it is the last episode, I guess. Damn, is Tengen all right? Please tell me Tengen is all right. No, he doesn't look all right, but uh, please. How awful! Everything's destroyed. <laughs> you saved me, didn't you, Nesrupa? I owe you one. <laughs> Hold on. Dang, she is so what tiny is right now. How am I able to move at all? How am I alive? Was 
should have poisoned? I hear Zenitsu. Thunder breathing and his specialty is sound. And Tengen's. Isn't Tengen's another like. He also uses sound. Is there like a correlation? Damn, you can barely hear his heart. I've got to neutralize the poison. I know. What about sunlight? Daybreak's too far though. What do I do? What do I do? Use your freaking thumb no, breathing. There's not enough time. If I don't do something right now, Inosuke is going to die. I was Dude, what about Tengen? Why me? Hey yo. Damaged by the poison. It's starting to heal. Hey yo, what the fuck? Hey yo, is she just like a counter to all demons now? Dude, go check out Tinkin. Saying my last words? <laughs> oh god. The poison's starting to make my tongue stiff. What am I supposed to do? I could have left those last words, but seriously. Isn't he gonna retire now? Damn, Harry lost an arm and an eye. Sorry, you three, for making you worry. Nasuko's blood demon art. It must have burned away all of the poison. Not that I'm really sure how any of it works. Please, take it easy, though. It didn't heal your wounds. I'm so glad you're safe. But how can this even be possible? I'm totally lost. Hey, wait! You need a rest, too. Look at you. I'm gonna go search for the demon's heads. I have to find them, or I can't rest easy. Damn. Nezuko, head that way. That was actually... Smell demon blood. That was actually scary, man. I didn't need another hot shit gun. Is it a pool of demon blood? Damn, are they still alive? Won't 
be attacking anyone. Oh, that's what he was after. I collected the blood of an upper rank demon. That was convenient. Take this to Miss Tomayo. I'm counting on you. Where the heads. There's no one in sight. Machio and the others must have managed to evacuate everyone. What a relief. Or they could have all just died. Nezuko, that way. Let's head over there. <laughs> Is Nezuko like a taxi or something? I can't believe you got my head and left them on Avatar. But we were watching after all. Why didn't you take me then, Hulk? I was too busy battling a Hashira. I don't care if you were. You should have finished him off when you had the chance. You could have just split his head wide open. And I was about. Two. Yeah, right! But that kid with the earrings was somehow still alive, so I figured I should kill him off first! Since you weren't doing a damn thing to help out, you should have been the one to finish off the Hashira! Well, maybe you should have just controlled me so I could do that! But instead, you went and let your guard down, as usual! Shut your mouth! They're still alive. Not only that, but they're arguing. It also looks like their bodies are starting to disintegrate. Someone as useless as you. If it hadn't been for you, maybe I would have done something with my life. Maybe I wouldn't be dying right now. If only I didn't waste all of my time cleaning up after your messes. You should have never been born in the first place. That's not true. I know you don't really feel like that. You don't mean it. Think it over. You two have no one but each other. There's no one who will forgive you for what you've done. You'll be resented, despised, and denounced by everyone you've killed. Nobody will ever be on your side. So quit cursing each other out like this. Because all you have is each other in this world. Right. My little sister's name was never Daki. It was Ume. Daki's a god awful name. Oh, come on, I just cried. I don't need another backstory. To be fair, Ume was pretty bad too. It's hard not to hate it, since you were named after the very disease that killed our mother. Rush Olon Riverbank, the lowest class of the entertainment district where we were born. Children here were seen as extra mouths to feed, so we were cursed for being born. My mother nearly killed me more than once while I was in her womb. 
She also tried to kill me after I was born, since I was nothing but a burden. And yet, I survived. My body was weak, like a withered leaf, but I clung to life with the strength I had left. Worm, moron, cretin, coward, good for nothing, dead weight. I was mocked for my ugly voice and appearance. Sometimes they'd even throw rocks at me for it. It felt like every insult in the world was created to leave an emotional scar on me. Not only was I hideous, I was filthy too. Covered in grime from head to toe and giving off the stench of death. It didn't help that I lived in the entertainment district where beauty was the measure of your value. I was treated like a monster. Whenever I would get hungry, I would eat mice and insects. My only toy was a sickle, a customer left behind. Soon, though, things started to change for me. After Ume was born, Ume, you were my pride and joy, you know. Even at a young age, people couldn't help but marvel at the sight of your beautiful face. <laughs> I quickly discovered I was good at fighting and started working as a debt collector. I might have revolted everyone, but they feared me too. And that brought me pure joy. My ugliness became my source of pride. And because I had such a gorgeous sister, my sense of inferiority was washed away as well. Call it wishful thinking, but I really had the feeling that we were on the fast track to a better life. Until you turned 13. What what happened? She stabbed a customer in the eye with a hairpin in self-defense. When news got out that it was a samurai, her hands and feet were bound. And then she was burned alive. Hey yo, what the hell? I wasn't there. By the time I got home from work, you were burnt to a crisp. You were still alive. Stop it, stop it, stop it! What did I do to deserve this? You're taking her away after so long of not giving me anything! I won't forgive you! I'll never forgive you! Bring my sister back now, damn it! If you don't, I'll kill every one of you! None of the gods are safe from my rage! Damn. Is this the one causing you trouble? Oh, yes, that's the one, all right. Thank goodness. You've done everyone a favor getting rid of that nuisance. He was nothing but a savage. All he did was cause trouble and severely injure the people he was collecting from. I suppose it's a shame that we lost you, May. But as soon as I find another cute girl, she's all yours. So, uh, about the money you owe? Yeah, yeah. After I finish him off. <laughs> Look at you. That's a fine kimono you're wearing, isn't it? You're clean and you have such smooth skin as well. I bet someone like you lives pretty comfortably with plenty of food and a nice clean bed. That kind of life is all you Damn, know. this is fucked up, up, man. In a house that shelters you from did, did, did I really need a terrible backstory again? I mean, by terrible, I mean they're good backstories, but like, they make me feel like shit. But when you've got it as good as you do, you don't get to complain. Losing one of your eyes is nothing compared to what we go through every day. Shit, damn, okay. 
almost laughable, really. No one ever offered to help us. No surprises there. That was just the story of our daily lives. No one bad can Every demon us has gone through some shithole, man. start to snow day in and day out we were neglected and denied any bit of mercy from bystanders why was that so much for fortune and misfortune are intertwined our entire lives were filled with tragedy pain and suffering you two don't look so good oh you poor things you're lucky someone as kind-hearted as me stumbled upon you. I hate to say it, but that girl is nearly dead. How about I give you some blood? What That's an upper that? six. That way you can become demons if you choose it. Life is far too sacred to let it go to waste. And you should treasure it while you can. Now then, can you become worthy demons? Maybe you'll be a 12 Kizuki like me. And rise to the upper ranks, I wonder. So what happened to that one? To be honest, I don't regret becoming a demon. No matter how many times I'm reborn, I'll become a demon every time. If that's what it takes to enact vengeance. I'll never show mercy to anyone who has a better life than me. However, there is one thing I regret that continues to haunt me. Ume, had I never taught you my way of life, you might have turned out differently. Had you only worked at a better house, you might have become a respectable Oiran. And if you'd been born to normal parents, maybe then you could have lived a normal life. Who knows? If you'd been born into a good family, maybe you would have become a well-bred young lady. Damn. You do have a very impressionable personality, you know. Maybe you only turned out this way because I was the one who raised you. Take before someone takes from you. That's what I taught you. Which led to you stabbing that samurai in the eye. But if you'd done as you said, maybe you could have actually made a better life for yourself. My only regret as a human. It was you, Ume. Damn, what the fuck? Time would go our separate ways. You walk towards the light. <laughs> Stop. 
Dad. Together, nothing can shake us. Cold or hunger doesn't bother us at all. I promise you, we'll always be together. I will never leave your side. See? You're not afraid of anything now, are you? Did they make up? I hope so. Really now? Upper six, eh? Unfortunately, that would be the lowest of the upper ranks. Well, six or not, you still defeated an upper rank, so I believe congratulations are in order. Though it was six. I guess you've earned some praise. I don't know if that was a compliment or not, but thanks. What is it? You took your sweet time getting here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What exactly do you plan on doing now that you've lost your left hand and left eye? And how long will it take you to return to duty after this? You'll need a replacement in the meantime. Any ideas of who can fill in for you until then? I'm actually retiring. There's just no way that I can still fight. I'm sure the Master will understand that much. Don't be ridiculous. I don't allow it. Too many swordsmen have fallen for you to consider retiring. We still haven't filled the Hashira spot that Rengoku left behind. Even being in your present condition is better than nothing at all. You'll fight until you perish. Nah, I know just the young swordsman to replace me. Do you remember that new kid that you love to hate? What? You're joking. You mean he survived a battle like this? Tanjiro Kamaru survived. Kamaru? Kamaru? Kam I don't know his last name. Forgive me. Positive? He defeated the two upper rank demons? You have my thanks, Tengen. Tanjiro, Nezuka, Zenitsu. Damn. Inosuke. That's poison, isn't it? <laughs> Does that mean uh, Nesigo can cure this? It took 100 years for something to finally change. And it actually happened. I'm on it. Yes. <coughs> Don't you see? This must be an omen. Fate is about to take a dramatic turn for us. The effects will be widespread. Everything will be shaken to its core. And eventually... He will feel it as well. Mozaki Butsuchi, we will defeat you. 
Our generation will put an end to you without fail. And then you, the sole blemish of my family, will be gone. <sighs> Children, quick, boil some water. Go fetch his medicine and get some towels. Quickly! Father! 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 Three. Oh, him. Shit. The alternate dimension. The Infinity Castle. The fact I was summoned here can only mean one thing. They managed to kill an upper rank. Damn, let's... Damn it. Really hurt. Hope I have enough storage. Yeah, no kidding. You really had us worried there. And hey, okay. that, that was a, that was a good ending. No one important died. You're right. Now let's go home. In a flashy way. There goes the Astro song. Oh, that was good. That was good. That was good. Alright, let's finish the season. Alright, guys, um, we managed to finish, uh, season two, the Entertainment District arc. Um, God damn. I don't know, now that I think about it, this is only upper 6 and the Hushers almost died, so that's saying something. I mean, back then I didn't even know like what upper rank 3 was, like how strong they were. And I mean, rank Goku fighting solo, we almost managed to take him out. He lost solely to the reason why he was fighting in the dark. And at night, I mean, rank Goku might actually be stronger than Tengen. Think about it. God damn. This is amazing, man. This is a great season, and I heard season three trailer has dropped, so I might post a reaction to that soon. But yeah, uh, thank you guys uh, for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed episode uh, 10 and 11, and I'll see you guys in the 